Hey guys, I'm going to show you today how to make my fail safe pizza dough recipe. So first of all here we start off with bread flour. You can use plain flour if you like. I just prefer using this because it kind of gives the base a bit more of a chewy texture to it. So we're going to need three cups of this, roughly. It doesn't matter if you don't measure it perfectly because we're going to add actually quite a bit more flour as we go. So we've got about three cups of flour in here. And now I'm going to add one tablespoon of dried yeast, a tablespoon of sugar and one teaspoon of salt. I'm also going to add about a tablespoon and a half of oil. This also helps add a bit more of a chewy texture to the dough. So give that a good stir just to incorporate everything together. And now I want to make a little well in the centre here. And just pour in your water. Make sure it's warm. If it's too hot, it's going to kill the yeast. But you do need it to be warm because that helps activate the yeast. So give this a stir. Looking good. Now this is actually designed to be quite a wet dough. But that, that's why it's fail safe, because all you've got to do is just keep adding more flour. So we turn this onto our surface. Just try and scrape out all the little bits that are stuck to the bowl. And now we will need to just keep adding more flour. So what I'll do is just get that ready. Just keep adding more flour. Bring it together into a dough ball. Keep adding more flour, keep kneading it. I also use this um, same recipe sometimes to make cheese and bacon rolls or cinnamon rolls, but I usually will add a little bit of bread improver to the to the dough for those ones. So this is starting to look quite good already. Just keep kneading it. You want to end up with a really smooth dough. It's looking great. <laughs> Press the play. Okay, is it recording? Yes. <laughs> okay, so just keep kneading the dough, guys, until it stops sticking to the bench. So we're almost there, actually. Yeah. You need to sort of work the gluten and the flour. That's why you've got to keep kneading it for a while. But this is looking great, actually. I think this is almost done. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now, see look at that, it's not sticking to the bench anymore, it's smooth, it feels warm. So I'm just going to put this back in our, our bowl. I just cover it with a little bit of flour so if it rises up too much so it doesn't stick to the plastic wrap as much. Yeah, we don't want that to happen. No. So I'm just going to cover this with plastic wrap and let it rise for a little while. Okay. Hey guys. So my dough has been rising for a bit, little bit over an hour, and you can see that it's risen quite well. So I'm just going to take it out. You need to sort of, um, you know, it has stuck to the bowl a bit, so just try and rub, rub the dough, and it'll come off quite easily. Okay. That's looking good. Just do it and add a little bit of flour and just give it a bit of a knead. And that's pretty well ready to go, guys. If you want, you can allow it to rise for another hour. But, I mean, it's fine to go now. 
I normally cut it into about three pieces and you make three sort of average plate size pizzas. Yeah, well, I hope you like it guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Just click on the little arrow under the video guys for the written recipe. And please do give me a, a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe. Bye.